You see this car right here? This is the girl that spit at me last time and threw the bike at the truck. She still does not have a permit. Some people don't learn, like they don't care. Hooked up already, huh? Car's oh, hooked go up. Get my car. If you want to pay for it to be released now, you can do that. All That's right. fine. All right, let me get the money. She says that she wants to pay for it to be released, so she could do that. This is ridiculous. I don't know if she realizes that it's me. They told my car because I parked it for a second. He's going to do that because we had problems before. He might not move. She seems a little more calmer than the last time I ran in with her. Out of here. He's taking me with my car. I'm not getting out without my car. He's that He's taking me with my car. Take me with my car. She just jumped in it. That's what I want to do is get my keys. I was never paying him. He's a Making that probably $10 an hour. That ain't She just out of control. I'm not going nowhere. I pay rent. What happened? Listen, yeah, I know what you're gonna say. It's supposed to be a sticker. You gotta get that sticker. I don't give a about no sticker. Listen, he's just doing his job. Out of here. Why are you telling me I haven't seen y'all in God's no window? We, that's it's what like... I'm trying to tell you. We don't come here unless we're called to come here. When the management company said that there's cars there that ain't supposed to be in there, I have to come through. Read the sign. It says from eight to five for visitors. But you're not a visitor. Exactly. But I'm still here from eight o'clock in the morning. You ain't supposed to tell me. But you're not a visitor. You're a resident. I've been here for 10 years. I'm not paying nothing for my car where I pay rent at. Then you got to show the management company it, and, and then you got to handle it with them. I'm calling my landlord right now. Hi, Jack. This is Night Dreamer. Your tow truck is towing my car. Call me back as soon as possible because I'm not getting out my car until you release my car. Can I just tell you something, though? There's a good thing about this situation. If I would have took the car without you coming out, it would have been $136. It's $68 because we're still here. Right now, sit here. If I come back with my go, look at my stash. Hello? On a one to 10, I put her at a six right now. She, she's, you know, a little feisty, but compared to last time, she was a, a 15. She was off the Richter scale. He's coming on the line now. They got my car on the tow truck right now. That's Jack on the phone? Can you please tell this man to take my car off this tow truck? I'm not paying when I pay rent here. Here go the guy. Hello, Jack. You see this It's up to you. I mean, the car, she don't have a parking pass. If he don't take my car off this tow truck, I'm telling y'all now, he ain't getting no rent for two months. Well, that's what I said. Tell him you know I pay saying? rent. Right. It's not happening. Understandable, no problem. I'm going to put it back on. Hello? OK, so guess what now? $68 is coming out my rent. So call my mother. You got her number, and she going to let you know. Is y'all crazy? Basically, the, the management said, listen, if she don't have a parking permit, you, you know, we pay you to do a job here, and you got to do your job, so. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Here. And I want a receipt. I don't know if I got change. I had to try to make some change. You taking it off, right? With my money. Yeah, uh -huh. He straight said no. So like I told him, it's coming out the rent. Listen, don't cry. I'm gonna let you down. It's $68. You're good. I just want you to understand that I'm doing my job. If you're gonna go in there, you're gonna take a shower, you're gonna get beautiful, park that outside. Listen, you don't got 68? I don't got change for you. All I got is big bills for myself. 20, 40, 60? 66. We can't get up two more dollars? All I have we'll is hundreds good. in the house. Yeah, yeah she's doing better than me. She said, all I got is hundreds in the house. You got two dollars until I run to the store? See, everyone's coming to you. She got people. These are my peoples. I love them to death. Even though we still couldn't get my car off the tow truck with that, we had to pay, but still, they was here. Just sign right on that line. That's yours. I'm gonna go shop and get this off my 
Hey, there you go. That's how you make it. I see that. You heard that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it out of the right next month. She's all right today. We had a good, a good productive moment. When we first met, I jumped up in his face. But he's doing his job. I got to understand. I think she is going to learn from this. Give me my car now. Can I have my car? You ready? I'm, I, I, I'm going to put her down. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, this place is full of lively people. That's it. You pay them, pull off. That's it. Let's see what else we can stir up. Oh, that's her dog. Perfect. We're going to a, uh, it's actually a new development. My client, they just called the office, and people are parking in the private development. The residents come home and they have nowhere to park, but it's private property. You never know what's gonna happen. Wow, this must be the car over here they called in, all right. You park illegally, you get towed. No one's supposed to be parked here. One is a fire zone, and two, she's blocking the sidewalk. And the entryway. So now cars can't even make the turn to get in because they're blocking everything. There's a sign right over here. Any illegally parked vehicles will be towed away at owner's expense. It's school letting it out. All these parents going across the street to the school. I'll give them a second if they come. If not, it's going back to the yard. I would give him that last minute to do the paperwork. OK, good to go. I'm going to pull up over here so people can get into the development. It's not your car, right? No, I'm the realtor. Maybe it's your car. Do you have your license or registration? Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I have an infant and I have three toddlers. My life is not easy. I have four people in there by themselves because I was racing to get my car. I just need the license or registration. I just want to tell you something. You're the agent, right? You and this builder are a bunch of Look at We all have little kids here. I have four kids on this day. Why are you yelling at me? I have nothing to do. Because you're the I cannot afford all the women in. You are a liar. I come here for 20 minutes. Look how many cars in I can't get see who's car at white idiot. I told her. You're the one that always falls in. We we know But ma'am, it doesn't matter, it's not our fault. That's why you need to watch that on my kids if I ever call. Do you understand? It's not a good thing. And then ten minutes later someone came. And then there's nothing to do with her. No, no. That's why it happens. No. There's other people here, lady. I came to see who's car it was. So you need to apologize. She's thinking that because she's standing there, she called the tow company. You no, know, which it's not like that. What the I called that woman not to park in the towing car. I well, came out right. to see who it she was. Didn't tell me. Well, you know what? I'm not here every day. It's 136 to drop it. Well, I'm sorry? It's 136 to drop it, or I gotta go to the priest and bring it back to the yard. $136 cash on this right now. I'm sorry, but I came here to get my kids. Well, let me just explain something. Yes. I have a wife and kid. You're probably gonna get mad at what I'm gonna say. Ridiculous. You should go a little earlier to pick them up. This way, you don't gotta park here. I've been here since 22, and that was the best spot. Wow. So every day I sit here for an hour because I have wow. so many kids. I was here Thursday. I called that woman that's parking. And you know what? I don't want anybody parking. Because I'm not wearing my fucking and I'm running in the street right now. You hear me? You can grab your kids. I'll wait for you. I'm not gonna go nowhere. I'm trying to help. I don't want anybody. She is trying to help, but people come in, they park on private property. It's not right. But I'll give her a few minutes. I feel bad. She has children. And here she comes now. I have the money for you. I said 136. I have nothing to do with this. We have nothing to do with this. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I parked here because we were told that that is not in the development. Anything off the curb line is private property. There's a sign on the entryway. It's right over here. It's a horror show. It's always been a horror show to park here. Please buckle your sister for me. I'm sorry I blew up with you. I'm 
sorry. I, I didn't know how to get your attention. I started banging That's on the right. window. That, that, that gun shot at me, knife thrown at me. It's nothing. Thank you. It's, it's private property. But she was parked from here up to here. Parked the wrong way, blocking the sidewalk and the entryway, so. It's going to be the beginning of a war now, because it's got me very upset that I have to pick up my kids and go through this and pay money to detach my car. She, she knew she was wrong. She was apologizing after the fact, saying, you know, I didn't mean to take it out on you. It's not your fault. Next time she knows she'll take it carefully and she'll look around. It was a little tense. Uh, it's the name of the game. What are you going to do? We got an expired meter right here. Sometime I'm like a whirlwind. Here it comes. Hey! This meter is expired. That one don't work. Hey, you got me a ticket. Money and this one, this one don't work. That don't mean you couldn't park there. If you'd have stayed and it wasn't working, I could take it back. But you move. I just not can't. Ma'am, you let the meter expire. You can't do that. You're gonna tell me what to do. $20, I might as well park it in the parking lot. Well, How did I get my 75 cents back out of here then? Well, you have to write a letter to the city. Get out of my way. Don't get upset. It's not that God bad. Tell me what to do. God. Don't tell me what to do. No, I was saying it wasn't that bad. That's it all is I... bad. I ain't got no damn $20. But it's only $10 if you pay it within 10 days. It's still $10. I should have parked in a parking lot. Oh, damn. Look at that. Here. here they are right here. Get out of my way. Hey, you know what you can do with this thing? And shove it up your ass. I had to run for cover. It was nice and clear, and this tsunami of a storm just came upon me just that quick. She made me look like a little light rain. I paid that one, and then I ran out of money. Then we paid another one here, but that one didn't work. She tried to park in the meter behind her, and it wasn't working. If she had actually parked in, I could have took the ticket back. But she decided to move to another meter, and she let the meter expire. Oh, man. I just was in court trying to get my license back. I had to miss work to come down here because they sent a ticket to the wrong address. She's just a little stressed out. Yeah, I'm stressed out. I've never seen nothing like that before in my life. The bottom line is, pay your meter, and I promise you, this storm will pass you by. I thought I was in the exorcist again. That's when head start turning around. Like, good God. This is another commercial vehicle equipment. You know, I think this person parked this here because they probably believe that since this house here is abandoned and they can just do anything they want to do, I don't see nobody, so I'm just going to proceed. This ticket is done. How you doing? What's up? Well, you can't park commercial equipment on the street. Commercial equipment? It's not commercial. It's personal use. I'm taking this stuff up north. I just came down today. No, you see this equipment here? It's my personal property, dude. You're on city property, though. Oh, I can't park my own on my own in front of my buddy's house. You know, you got commercial equipment parked on a residential street. You so you're going to give me a ticket? I've already printed that ticket. No, this is yours, buddy. I'm not paying. Um, OK, well, don't pay it. He's giving me a ticket because I parked my trailer in front of your house. Ah. Guys, what came out a little earlier, I could have saved you a ticket, but once they come oh, out this. No, 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 that's. Yeah. I want the cops here now, buddy. Oh. Cops here for what? Because that's. It's illegal. No, it's not. How is this commercial piece of equipment? Because it's a trailer? I I'm not paying that ticket. I shouldn't have to. You're going to to go to Walmart. Yeah. And I'm not paying some Detroit. So what, what are you going to do about it, bud? Sir, don't. Yeah. Don't come over here, please. No, what the This is illegal. There's a sign that says That's a that. city ordinance. This is a commercial equipment on the street. Not a commercial equipment. What is it? It's not. It's my personal use. 
It's registered to me. Y'all not listening to me. It's illegal to have pickup trucks, flatbeds, trailers on city property on the you street. Can it's that's. How are you gonna write him a ticket? You can have it on your property. I'm still gonna sit on my property. Y'all not listening to me. Y'all seriously not listening to me. I own a business in the city of Detroit. I know what's legal and what's not. So what? What are we arguing about here? Well, this ticket. It's nothing I can do. You can you either can go. Do you, can... you can do, but you're gonna give me a ticket for a hundred bucks. It's illegally parked. You can't go up in that little computer of yours and erase that. So you can use your three options on the back. You can take it to court. The court gonna tell you the same thing I'm telling you. You cannot park commercial equipment, pickup trucks, trailers, so, all that oh, on the street. Now wait. Now you're saying if I leave my truck there and you come back, I'm gonna get it taken for that. The truck is not a commercial. Well, that's what you're saying. This. This is, is equipment, sir. No, it's not. Does it say commercial on it? Okay, okay. It have a nice have a nice day, y'all. Yeah, I, I, I will. I can have a nice I'll day. Go right down to the county building. Hmm. This is really ghetto. I don't know what his problem was. I can tell the way he was walking towards that ticket and snatched it. The fireworks had begun.